Hi, my name is Olga. Um, I want to talk today about Bichon Frise and mostly about um, what kind of mistake people do when they groom Bichons. Uh, that is um, a very common question how to create head and how to do tack up line for Bichons. First of all, it's a um, um, powder fav breed, so if you read the standard of, of Bichon Frise, it says that it's um, uh, soft expressions with we have to show very nice face with the black eyes and with the black nose, round face, we have slight tuck up, we have pronounced chest, and that dog is a grand champion. She groomed in a moder like moderate show trim, mostly like shorter trim for show, but it's, that is a trim that I usually do every day in a shop because it's go with a standard and it's also satisfied all my customers because of the length. We keep here almost half of the inch and it's still working with a standard, but it's a less maintenance clip. So when I start to groom Bichons, I usually wash them twice. First, it's a degreasing shampoo. Second, it's a whitening. Or if dog has any problems, I use moisturizing shampoo. In between, uh, before the show, I use same degreasing and um, Easy Groom Crystal White, the, the, my best shampoo for Bichons because it doesn't make them blue or gray, it's make them look perfect, like a crystal white, as they tell. And I fluff, I blow dry, and then I fluff dry dogs, especially for head. I use um, uh, like uh, texturizing products, like a uh, mousse or spray to keep that coat standing up. So then after I finish drying, it's already round and a fluff, and then I use my combs and brushes to create a um, nice, clean and straight coat. Uh, Sugar, she's a grand champion, and she is a very good representative of the breed. Uh, by the standard, they one quarter longer than taller, so from the chest bone to the pin bone, it's longer than from the table to the visors. And she has nice legs and a straight line on the a, on a body, straight top, and a pronounced chest. So um, she was already groomed before. Uh, today I just want to tell you what mistakes of the grooming she has. So coming to the head, It's a round face with the, in the middle of the in-between eyes. It's a stop area. We clean it very short. So we need to show that nice eyes. And for show dogs, black cream is very important. So we want to clean. We're using number 10 blades around the eyes to just show that black cream. And we can clean in between nostrils also to show black pigment. And then, round this, for me, that face is very narrow. So if you look from the top, you don't see that circle. So for me, this dog needs to grow coat. And I usually, how I measure it, I put so curved scissors, and you will see how much she lack of the coat. So here, she need maybe a quarter of inch more uh, coat to create that show face and it's also by standard we don't need to see separation ears from the cheeks so I would love to grow that coat to cover that separation but now I just want to clean around her edges and um, Bichons are very uh, interactive dogs, so if somebody call them, they prick ears. So sometimes when you finish in a show ring, and you will see that nice circle, but when somebody call Bichons and they prick ears, 
and then all this circle coming out. So when we groom, it's a little bit tricky. So we usually pull this, push these ears forward, and then we groom. Or you can hold it like that, your fingers behind the ear, and then you can groom. I like to use blenders to blend that ears to the cheeks. So when I hold now, when I when they relax the ears and I clean and I comb, so then I use my curved scissors and blend ear coat to the cheek circle. So when, when she grow coat a little bit here on an upper lip upper lip and a bottom lip, she will have more circular face. Um, also a question, when I receive very often, how long that cup on the top of the head, on the four chest, should be cut? It's to the middle of the nose, to the end of the nose. It's only one rule. If your dog has long muzzle, you have to create soft expression. If you have the long muzzle, you may leave it longer here to the middle of the nose and just blend inside to show that nice eyes. But she has very nice short muzzle. She doesn't need big cup. So her length is here, almost to the middle of the nose. Sugar, are you okay? So we can comb and cut a little bit more and cut around the eyes. I, what I do, I usually go like a quarter of inch behind the outer corner of eye to make that eyes look deep. And I comb again, all this cut down and I finish my circle, pointing scissors around the ears. So if you see from the any point, head should be circle from the top view, from the three quarters view, and from the side, it's always circle, nose behind ears and going to the top. So that is a circle. Behind that area, it's an arch. So when you create don't please include that arch in a circle. The head is only here, and then we add arch, and uh, that neck coat will help us to create the nice, nice long neck. So I want to blend the finish, the bottom line behind the ears, and I stop right behind the ear because we don't want to pinch behind the ears. The neck, it's a curved line going into the ears without pinching that. So that is also a common mistake about the pinching behind the neck. Neck shouldn't be narrow. It's not a terrier. It's a one big powder, pu big powder puff. So we're supposed to have like one piece of the dog, very slight lines, no sharp lines, not pinching behind the elbows, not pinching behind the ears. Now about the tuck up. That is also a common question. Where the tuck up should be on Bijons? If you have really nice dog that it's a show dog and it's a come going with a standard so it's usually we can find right behind the last trip that's going to be a tuck up this area fill the ribs find the last trip and that it's a tuck up we it's not a bee waste we're not grooming a poodle it's a bichon so read the standard it says slight tuck up 
So then I, I do mark here with my finger. I use my curve scissors and cut that line in. That's going to be a tuck up line. If you look from the top on the bichons, we don't want to see waste. So the tuck up line, it's only on the bottom part of the body. So if you put that line, the top part and the bottom top, it's only here. So you can use your technique. You can use your curved scissors and go that way, point your scissors down and go around the tuck up. You can use your straight scissors and go this way. It's up to you. And um, also the one point of balance, if you hold your fingers on the top and you make that line in the middle of dogs, that it's a line of balance. So middle of the dog and a line from the top of the neck to the toe, it's coming in the same point. So that is a point of balance. Here's a tuck up and that is your neck arch. So always draw some lines on a dog and it's help you understand breed better. The part behind the elbow. Uh, that is also a tricky part because if we pinch, elbow looks out. When dog on a ring and elbow out, it's look like an older dog or it's um, it's kind of disqualification of the standard because the standard said the elbow should be tied to the body. So when we groom dog, we always need to see that we're not leaving that a lot of behind the elbow, that's called, it's not sticking out. So we need to cut it clean and no pinching behind the elbow. How to achieve it? You start your groom dog when it stay on our four legs. We comb it up. We make straight line down to the floor. Then you can hold the leg forward, comb comb everything out and I use my blenders and I blend under the armpit here. I'm not going in and out. I'm just blending almost straight line. So when she stays again on a, on a table and we comb again, I use my blenders now again and just blend straight line. And I comb again and everything that coming out, we can blend to the body. It's not a, it's not a poodle separation, it's just one piece with a slight curve on the body. Same tuck up line, we're gonna do lines again Bo chest bone to the pin bone, that is a line. Neck to the toe, and, and toe should be on the same line, uh, same line as a pin bone. So the neck going to the toe, and that is the last strip, and then that is the central point of the bichon. Tuck up going under that line. It's a little bit of geometry, but it's help to groom Bichon. So that is a curved scissors. And it's only on the bottom part of the body. We're not gonna see that tuck up from the top. And now, because I moved that tuck up a little bit forward, she looks a little bit shorter on the back. That part it's look much shorter because I move my tuck up forward a little bit. Now I want to blend body. And on Bichon's, it's no curve line. It's a sloping straight line under the body. 
she has puppies before, so she has like, you know, not tight underneath and it's nipples. So I always try to be careful to groom this area. And I try to comb more often. I use in fine combs, I like to use fine combs because when you comb, it's no comb marks, it's look like one piece. And it's helped me to scissor. These are nice finishers. I use scissors from Damascus steel so you can see the pattern that it's real Damascus. It's wonderful with Sumi scissors. A little bit of spray to get rid of static. Comb again. You can shake it a little bit if you have some piece of hair on her. And then it's a final finish on that. Rear angulation, it's also questionable. The pin bones is right there. So then we don't need that pointy buttocks. We want rounded and right here on a pin bones. So 30 degree from hip bones to pin bones. And you can use straight scissors or curved scissors that it's a 30 degree angle. And now I'm gonna slightly cut that points because it's nothing pointy on visions. It's all nice curved lines. Bend of the leg, it's the shortest point. So we go with the bend of the leg. And um, by AKC standard, visions have a short hugs. Here, low hugs. So we want to make sure that it's not a high. So I want to groom low hugs and a straight line to the bottom. And I comb up again. I, I can use blenders to blend it. So that it's a um, rear of the bichon. Some questions I have, why we shaving tail? You don't need to shave tail if you don't want, but some dog has very low tail set. So bring that tail set up. We want to clean that area and show that shelf so it's going Right there, point of shoulder, point of rump here. And now your, your tail is looking that it's a placed much higher and by the standard the tail should lay over the body. So let me just fix that part. No points, rounded bed. Spray again, comb. I already fixed that tuck up area. And here's the mistake, you will see that it's a pinching 
pinch elbow. So I want to blend and let it grow. I always combine up against the coat growing. It's helped me to make nice and smooth finish. In between rear legs, that it's a very difficult part to groom. We don't want dogs look like a bow legs, like rounded here. So we need to comb everything up, all this coat up. And you can use your curved scissors or straight scissors. I prefer longer scissors for that. And I usually point my scissors to the opposite leg, outside of opposite leg. So I cut in that area on direction, pointed my scissor here. So really I make that part of the legs shorter. So if you look from the back, now inside the leg it's a straight line here and, and it's a curved line. So I just correct it. So when dog move on the show rings, the part's not going to be touched. And sometimes dog has very narrow legs, which is a mistake. So by cutting this area shorter, we make them look much nicer and straighter. So same for the other leg. I will point my scissors to the front opposite leg. And cut shorter. So now, if you notice, that leg looks much straighter. And uh, the last point of the correctional grooming, neck. How to find where to start that neck on Bichons? That is a very common question. For pet dogs, I usually tail four fingers behind the visors. So here, you put your palm on the visors and the four, fin four fingers, that's arching start. But remember when we did that line, that is actually the line how to create neck. So I fluff. Just take it. I fluff that area. I put my head here. So right there we start and it's gonna be very nice. It's no triangle, so we need to create smooth arch. Blending to the top line. Then spray again. My curve. And now I connect the front of the head with the arch. Also, should be rounded line. Combine that coat down with a tail over, and that is a Bichon neck. 